Glory to God, boy, yes, it's your girl, Corinne Graham, also known as the Purpose Warrior, and I'm back again. I got back-to-back -back written words, all glory to the Most High God, and this is a second word the Father began to open up to me this morning in my time of devotion with Him, and I'm going to release it now. It is 6.46 a.m., and so I definitely have to get everything thing edited just the way he showed me but I know it's going to be a blessing to someone today and this word is coming to speak to the sheep as always in Jesus name but someone that's listening someone that comes across this video you've been asking this question I wish God talked to me I wish God would give me a word Warrior, who am I talking to? If you know that's been you, then the Father is coming today to give you a word. He's coming today to let you know he's always trying to talk to you. But you have to look and listen to see the kingdom keys. You have to slow down so you can look and listen to see the kingdom keys. And all I kept hearing is prove it, prove it, prove it. The father was saying he's about to prove it to you with this word. He's about to prove it to you with this word. That just like he gave me a word, he has a word for you too. Just like he gave your pastor a word, he has a word for you too. Now, I'm not knocking pastors because I know the Father, he's created apostles and prophets, evangelists, teachers, and pastors to see after the sheep. But the mission always should be, no matter what office you sit in, is to see after the sheep by showing them how to look and see their father in heaven so that they can know they have a connection so that they can know that they have direct access so that they can know how to go in and war for what has been assigned to them the sheep need to be trained on how to enter in to their kingdom language and talking in tongues is one of them, but there's another language and that comes from the word of the most high God. So he can begin to open up and uncover himself to you, but he's an open book and he wants you to know that he will put his word on open display before you, but you have to be willing to look and see with your ears, with your eyes, and with your heart, both here on earth and in heaven in Jesus name. So let me share what I wrote, what I heard in the spirit. Many warriors are graduating today into their shall be moment. And it's our time to shine in Jesus name. It's our time to go from being dishonored to being honored. You and those attached to you will hear just how good your father has been to you. You will be the evidence of scary blessings because the suddenly of them will make even you fear and tremble. And it was your vision given to you by God. And that exceedingly and abundantly above is about to put it on you so tough. Kingdom tough, says God. God is going to hit you with a scary blessing. <laughs> He going to hit you with a blessing like he hit Peter with when Peter fell down to the ground and said, get depart from me. I'm a wicked man. That's how big it's going to be, says God, because the Lord your God called you by name. He wants you to become aware of the hidden riches and the treasures of darkness that so many overlook as coincidences. He wants you to open up every gift he himself sends you. God is speaking out Isaiah 55 and 5. That 555, five, five, triple grace, triple favor, five star kingdom living. What he is saying, glory be to God. What he is saying is surely you shall call a nation you do not know. 
and nations who do not know you shall run to you because of the Lord your God and the Holy One of Israel. For he has glorified you because you look like your father in heaven here on earth. The sheep recognize you and hear his voice and no other voice will they follow. Glory to God. The fourth thing because it's five things he had me right. Glory to God. So the fourth thing is you have hit the mark in your understanding and your clarity is elevating in Jesus name. You have leveled up and doors that were once closed have now flung open on earth as it is in heaven. Can you see them? God has been saying one, two, three, four, open doors. There's more than one. Keep your head on a swivel, warrior. The fifth thing is every seed you sow by faith has potent power in Jesus' name. Every seed you sow has a voice and a vision attached to it. And I'm going to prove it to you now. The power of sharing and giving and being blessed to be a blessing. This is our Father speaking to every sheep underneath the sound of my voice. I thank God for you, warriors, in Jesus' name. This is the evidence of a Holy Ghost giveaway, like what I wrote on my Blessed Kingdom Builders envelope the other day in a video that I posted. And so what the Father showed me is he's... I always tell you guys that I send you the blessing for every seed that you sow into me in this ministry here on earth and in heaven. I always tell you guys that your words encourage me and that the Father, I can see the Father in some of your messages, your words of encouragement, scriptures you post. I tell you that, but the Father is saying, prove it to them today. And so he had me go through just yesterday subscribers and comments that were highlighted to me, seeds that were planted into the soil of this ministry. And that is from where that word came from. And so I want to pause really quick. And I just want to tell you warriors, my warrior family, that I thank God for you, that I see you, that I value you, and you are the one. You are the one. And so the father is Five star kingdom building. He's showing he, all day five, 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 triple grace, triple mercy, triple favor in Jesus' name. And so there was a comment I had from a subscriber named Abby, and she's 11 years old. And I'm just like, you're an angel. You're an 11 year old angel. And you came on here and you blessed me by sowing a seed of kindness into me. And when I seen the comment, the father highlighted the time of 9.33 p.m. And that's when I seen Jeremiah 33 and 9. And that connected to the first key I, I spoke out in my written word. So blessings to you, Abby. I love you so much too. God loves you most. And I can't imagine all what God is going to do through you. I was 11 when I first got to know him for myself too. So glory be to God. The second subscriber I want to send a special thank you to is Elaine and I hope I said that right but it's Elaine 5345 and when I seen her comment I seen Isaiah 45 and 3 come full circle back around and I want to read this one. It says, I will give you the treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places that you may know that I, the Lord, who call you by your name, am the God of Israel. And so that's where that second 
point in the word today came from. I bless you for your seed, your words of encouragement. I see God in you. God touched me through your words and I bless you in Jesus name. The third subscriber I want to shout out is my brother D posting 1555. And when I seen the 555 that I've been seeing over and over and over, if you've been on this channel, you'll hear me talk about it. But I saw Isaiah 55 and 5, and that's where point three came from in my word. And so number four, my sister, Nick C., and let me just say this, D Poston is a faithful warrior. I remember his name. Nick C, another faithful warrior, shout out to you. But before I went to bed, I looked at your comment and you told me to go to the 18 minute mark on my video to see the one, two, three, four in the corner. And I did. And I just want to thank you. My, my warrior family knows. My warrior family, they have me. And so my sister knows I've been saying one, two, three, four open doors and she seen something that I didn't see. That's the power of unity. That's the power of the body. That's the power of the sheep in Jesus name. And so another faithful warrior sowed a seed into me of $2 and 81 cents. And I seen this seed and I seen instantly Matthew chapter 18. And so it was confirmed with Nick C when she told me the 18 minute mark. And so this seed that was sown into me, when I seen the seed and I went to Matthew 18, at that exact moment, my son called. And he called at 6.22 p.m. And I just want to show you how the father confirmed all of this because I'm going to close it out reading these two scriptures. But this is how the father speaks. He speaks to his children in everything. I see him in times. I see, I'll see a time and I'll see a scripture. I'll see a time or I'll see a post. It, it could be a date. It could just be a commercial. It could be anything, warrior, that speaks to your heart in a good way and that aligns with the fruit of his spirit. That's a beginning point. That's the father speaking to you. That's when you get to search it out and you get those hidden treasures and you get a wealthy word, a now word, a prophetic word that can bless countless households in Jesus name. So I'm going to close us out to Matthew chapter 18 verses two through five first. And it says, then Jesus called a little child to him, set him in the midst of them and said, assuredly, I say to you, unless you are converted and become as little children, you will by no means enter the kingdom of heaven. Therefore, whoever humbles himself as this little child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Whoever receives one little child like this in my name receives me. Glory be to God. Get excited about being a child again. That childlike faith, being able to take whatever you want, need, and desire to your father and know that in the end, his perfected time, he's going to give it to you. We have to stay humble like that. We have to speak when spoken to, just like when we were kids. Mm -mm, we got to stay out of grown folks' business. When we have bills coming at us and we that we know we can't handle them, we got to cast our cares on our father. This sounds like a job for Jesus. I'm getting out of grown folks' business because I'm his child and his name is on the line and he is here in Jesus' name. And so Proverbs 22 verse 6. Train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. That's all this ministry is to train you up.
so that you can hear from the Father for yourself, for your bloodline, for your family, for your inheritance in Jesus' name. And so there's warriors here on this wall that the Father is speaking through and he's speaking to. And glory be to God, I get to be in the midst of you. I bless every one of you. I thank the Father for everything. He's already rained down and it is 7.01 a.m. here exactly. So I'm just excited to see the fruit that falls from both words he's given me. If you haven't already, check out the other word I dropped. I'm, that's bloodline blessings, like part two. I'm going to include that here. But share your testimonies with me. Email me. Let me know how these seven days of glory blessings have been blessing you in heaven and here on earth. In Jesus' name, I love you, warriors. If this word bless you, I just ask you plant the seed of a thumbs up, of a comment, amen in the comments, subscribe, hit the bell, share this word with someone else you think may need to hear it. Help me spread this gospel, this good news. This is a family. This is a family and I welcome each and every one of you to this home. In Jesus name, I love you and I'll talk to you soon.